If you're planning on holding on to summer this weekend, well, you got to be out on the West Coast. Vancouver will be looking like this today. Beautiful blue skies, heat across the interior and right into Alberta. I just want to show you what the skies have been doing over the last week as well. Look at Saskatoon. Beautiful auroras with the clear conditions. The viewing has been pretty epic throughout the region. Now in the east, we have been tracking a way different story, a more active story. Cooler conditions, windier conditions. Places like Nova Scotia could be looking at localized flooding today. So that's going to be a story we'll continue to watch through the morning. Also, we're talking about wreck house wind warnings into Newfoundland. Places like Ontario also feeling a very fall like system with cooler conditions. And as those cooler conditions move in, water spouts are also in the forecast today over top of the Great Lakes. There's a lot of different weather stories to get to and really depending on where you are in the country, you are feeling a totally different season. We'll just take a look at the temperature anomaly here. This is what's happened over the last five days of September. We've seen some of that cooler air filter in across the east. Newfoundland, though, has been quite above seasonal and nice. And then all of this heat has been across the west. As the kids went back to school in Saskatchewan and Manitoba in Alberta, shorts and t-shirts, frozen water bottles, it was hot. Look at this though, over the next few days into next weekend, that heat is shifting to the east. So yes, it's chilly this morning across Ontario. Yes, we're talking the potential for snow along Highway 11 through the overnight tonight, but don't worry, summer will be back. We are gonna see a lot of that hot weather moving. You can see this is where the cooler conditions are. Only 15 degrees in Ottawa today, passing showers for Kingston and Ottawa, flood risk potential across places of Nova Scotia. And then there is all of that heat that is still sticking with you in Calgary and Regina has still got the 30s. Now, as we focus in on the cooler pattern, this certainly could bring the potential for some water spouts today as we're still pretty warm at the surface, right? But this air aloft is closer to that zero degree mark. So it's the perfect setup to get a little bit of a spin on Huron, Erie, Lake Ontario. So I know Mark Robinson, our storm hunter, he'll be out trying to capture some of those scenes today. As we look at the system that's brewing, the wraparound winds, the northerly flow, that will bring us the cooler forecast for sure. Places like the Kawarthas, Kingston, Ottawa, you're looking at those passing showers today. Up and down the St. Lawrence, 10 to 20 millimeters of rain. Within the GTA, windy, cooler conditions quite possible. Maybe even a bit of lake-enhanced rain. If it was cold enough, that could be some lake effect flurries. We're not quite there yet, but you can see those wind gusts are strong right over top of Huron, Georgian Bay, 40, 50 kilometers an hour. So if you are enjoying the shores of the beautiful Great Lakes, you could see a lot of scenes that look like this. Maybe a bit of rain off into the distance, but dry where you are. Cloudy periods, a peak of sun, really similar to what we saw yesterday, but less of a chance of seeing those heavy downpours within the GTA. That's now moved off to the east and then up towards the north. Up and down the St. Lawrence today, you've got those showers pushing in. Places like Victoriaville, Quebec City, looking at those showers a little bit later on. And then it's a totally different system that's bringing you all of this rain across the Maritimes. Heaviest rain already started earlier this morning throughout Nova Scotia. It'll continue to filter in across the Maritimes today. Strong wind gusts in Halifax, 70 kilometers an hour. Those very strong winds will shift over towards Cape Breton Island as we go throughout the overnight tonight. So windy, rainy, and then going into Sunday, you have another push of rain coming through. Embedded thunderstorms can really drive up some of those numbers. Through the overnight, cooler conditions, showers sticking with you, and the rain will be with you tomorrow.